You're doing it now, Wise. This is our game, Wise. This is our game. It's all for you. Let's go out there. One chance, fellas. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. 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 let Basketball and football and soccer all gave birth to an angry child. That would be rugby. A game of hooligans played by gentlemen. Constant running, constant ball movement. Just imagine a thousand, a thousand pounds worth of force pushing against you. 40 minutes nonstop, get your break at halftime, go back, do it all over again for another 40 minutes. You need to think on your feet. That's the biggest, that's the biggest thing. You gotta be mean. I mean, you gotta be the guy that just gets in there and isn't afraid to get dirty. Once you get on the field, there's really no coaching. It's all about you and the decisions you and your teammates make. A lot of people don't realize that uh, football came from rugby. It's definitely like football because it's physically demanding. Football is a lot. It's a lot of quick burst and stop, and rugby is a little more constant motion. <laughs> Who's tougher? Oh, now you're gonna get me in trouble with all my football fans. See, that's like, that's like comparing apples and oranges. They're both tough. Well, I'll tell you, I've been to the hospital more times playing rugby than I have playing football. So. There's 15 players on each team, so 30 players on the field total at each time. All the positions in rugby are named pretty much based on what they do. Props, hookers, locks, eight man, fly halves. The hooker? Hooker. Yeah, hooker. Everyone loves that name. The hooker is in between me and the other prop. Poor guy. <laughs> the amount of sweat he gets. He's the guy who's actually kicking for the ball at the ground, um, trying to win it back for his team so they can maintain possession and keep playing offense. The quarterback would be the scrum half. He's a, he's a back, so he's a lighter guy, smaller guy, quick on his feet. He uh, coordinates the actions between the, the scrum and the backs. The scrum is where the, the, the eight players, the bigger guys, get together and engage, um, lock up um, with each other, and it's a way to contest for the ball. When a scrum happens, I, uh, I punish the guy who picks up the ball. It's rough. It, <laughs> it's probably the most intense part of the game, other than maybe tackling. A line out is, uh, is how you restart the ball once it's gone out of bounds. To restart the game, uh, whichever team it went out on, the other team gets to throw it in. And then your teammates will actually lift you in the air to get you to the apex of your jump so you can really um, jump over the other team and get possession. The breakdowns, which is where if one player gets tackled, he has to set the ball down. And usually you try and set the ball facing your own teammates. And there, there can be a contest for the ball at that breakdown. So it's a little bit of wrestling in there too because you're, you're wrestling for the ball. Pass the ball, you got to pass it backwards or lateral. You can't pass it forwards. The kicking game is a very important uh, part of rugby. A, a lot like football, if you can't get uh, 10 yards and four downs, you kick it as far down their field as you can. In rugby, it's very similar. If you get in a sticky situation, you're up against your own try zone, um, you go ahead and kick it. You can also kick offensively, although it's hard to do because the rules of rugby state that if you kick it, the only people that can touch it on your team are the people that were behind you when you kicked it. Scoring of rugby is really similar to um, football. If you score a try, which would be a touchdown, it's five points. To kick it through the post is two points, so it equals to seven. I guess it's like football in the old days where you had to actually touch the ball down on the ground for it to be a touchdown. When a penalty occurs, you're able to kick it, and if you're able to kick it through the uprights, that's worth three, a lot like an uh, American fleet field goal. After a game of rugby, it's not like anything I've ever felt before. Like you just got ran over. Um, your muscles will be sore in places you didn't know existed after a game. Anyone can be a rugby player, which is the, the great thing about it. There's, there's a spot on the field for everybody, no matter how big or small you are. Uh, you can play. Anyone can. It's, it's a great sport. Texas on three, one, two, three. Texas!